Uploading and storing images in our application has become the most common feature in today's modern app development. From the apps like Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp where image uploading is so common, it has become quite common. Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. As we know, uploading and storing images has become most common in modern applications. So how to allow our user to store and upload their images in our Flutterflow? So, in this video, we are going to learn how to upload images in our Flutterflow. We will create an API to store our image in our Xeno with the help of Flutterflow. So here in our Xeno, we will go to our users table and here I will create a field which will be storage image metadata. I will name it image and click on add column after that I will go to my API as we have our auth API we will go to auth slash me and in this API we just need to enter our token and it will return us the user record now I will go to my get record block and in the output section we are getting our image an image contains all these things access path name type size mine meta and url after clicking save let me add a sample image here this image and now when i click and in my search i will get the user after clicking run here I am getting my URL so for now I will just delete it because we want to store our image from Flutterflow so for that first I will click on add API point and here I will select custom endpoint and I will name it upload it will be of type post now in my input here I will select storage and will select the file resource i will name it file and click on add input after that i will go here and select create image metadata and the value will be our input file name is optional so i won't change it now i will add edit record to update the user image so here we need an ID first I will select the image which will be our x1 variable that is our output and click on save now we need a reference here so we will go to our public endpoint and here I will select user authentication and turn it on now here we have our option auth and in our auth I will select the ID and click on save and then I will click on publish now I just need to go to my page here First, I will add this API to get the JSON. So I will go here and click on a create API call. It will be of type get. This is the URL. And in the header, it will be authorization bearer and auth token which will be our variable of type string add call I will copy this token 
and in my response I will test it so here it is succeeded but we didn't get our path in the image here so for the sample I will add it here click on test again now we need this URL so first I will just add my JSON path which contain all the record so I will name it result and our path is $.image.url now I will remove it again and then I will create another API call which will store our image here I will select my endpoint URL add it here it will be of type post copy endpoint URL name will be upload and in the body I will select here multi part and the parameter name is the same name which we are using here that is file file which will be selected from a variable and the variable type will be uploaded file and then save now we will go to our blank page here that is our logged in page and here I will select image circle I will wrap it in a column and also I will add a button the image will be middle aligned and then add a button to save in the column I will add spacing of 20 and here I will select save or we can say upload now on my onload call I will add an action which will be API call and me and in my auth token I will select the authenticated users token if it is true then I will take a page state variable result json which will be of type json and here I will select the update page state result json will be our API result predefined path and result confirm and if our API call is failed that means our token is expired so here I will select log out now on my upload I will select on tap I will add action upload and save media and now I will select my API call which will be our upload and file will be uploaded local file and if it succeed I will again call my API call which is me or token will be our authenticated users token and when it's success it will update again our result 
result json action output this one and result else logout and here I will display if image upload API is failed show snack bar something went wrong which will be error background so we have added our API call but we are missing something which is in my upload we also need to add authorization where which will be auth token again string and save because here we require our authentication so we need to add auth token So now in my image I will just copy this and I will select the action if page state result json json path dot image dot url is set then display then display I will just copy here and paste the variable here so I have added the condition if our URL is set, then it will display the image URL, else it will display this image. Now after clicking confirm, I will test my API call. So here, when I click on upload, and I will select the image, I am getting an error let me check our console again I am selecting the image in my console I am getting an error invalid token so we just need to go in my upload API call I just need to add my token here which is our authentication token and click on instant reload also in my gallery now I add so here our image is upload so in this video we learned how to upload image in our flutterflow we created an API to store our image from Flutterflow to Zeno. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.